So today is Friday. I'm staying at the house today, getting ready to jump on the treadmill for three miles. I think I want to talk today about some pet peeves that I have about small town pastors. I think they're more assumptions, but pastors do fall into these, so you'll figure it out. So here it is, uh, January 31st, and I'm sitting in the backyard watching the boys play. What a crazy winter. Anyway, I wanted to share a couple of, uh, I guess it's not really pet peeves, but it's things that annoy me about the perception of small town pastors and uh, to some extent the belief that small towns and small town pastors have about themselves. <clears throat> I guess all of it kind of stems from the same thing and that is that uh, they believe that a small town is less important than a big town. Now I understand there's difference in strategic locations and there's aspects of influence that have to do with bigger towns, more people, but the idea that they're less important is just wrong. So I, one of my pet peeves is when somebody says, well, it's just this town or just Jordan. Uh, it's just a small town. Uh, I hate to hear people say that because it carries the idea that they are less important than somebody else. Another one is this uh, idea that small churches or small town churches are easier. This is the place where you cut your teeth. This is the place where you learn. This is the place where you uh, figure out how to be a pastor before you move on to something bigger and better. And that really annoys me. Uh, there are some parts of being a small town pastor that I think are harder. Small town churches have uh, challenges and I think there are certain people that are cut out for it and certain people that not. Um, if you need to have a, a book budget, if you need to have an assistant, if you need to have a staff to get things done, you're not cut out for small town pastoring. You kind of have to do it all uh, or be able to. There will be times when God brings people in, there will be, you can train people, but quite honestly, what happens in our town is when we train somebody, when we uh, have somebody who is showing a talent for a particular area in the church, they tend to leave. They tend to leave to go to another small town. They tend to leave to go to college. They tend to, uh, they tend to be prepared for service and then go because that particular trait need, is needed elsewhere uh, in, a, in a different capacity. I think small churches have the biggest sending power if they would just realize it. So our church motto is connecting with God, connecting with people, changing the world. And I really believe that a small church in the middle of nowhere can change the world. A small town church is not a place to go because you're just starting out, and it's not a place to go because you're looking to retire. Uh, you go there because that's what the Lord called you to do. I probably should be taking down the Christmas decorations, but I'm not. It's not supposed to be like this, uh, this time of year. It's crazy. So, well, I'll just enjoy it. You can hear the kids over there playing. The only thing that I don't like is mud. So, I don't mind if it's frozen and I don't mind if it's dry, but I really don't like mud. I guess probably my biggest pet peeve though of all uh, when it comes to small town ministry, small town churches is the small mindedness. And what I mean by that is <laughs> boys, what I mean by that is the, uh, the focus on self. Uh, I hear so many pastors say, well, we just don't have the money. Well, nobody has the money. Every church that's operating like it's supposed to be spends what God brings to them. 
Uh, they say, well, we don't have the people. Well, nobody has the people. Uh, it was eye-opening for, uh, for some of our folks when they learned that bigger churches uh, operate on bigger budgets, but the budget is still used. Uh, the margins are the same as they are here. So uh, don't be so focused on survival. Be focused on what God has called you to do. Uh, and realize that there is a much bigger world outside of your little town that you are supposed to be making an impact for. Uh, your small town is a, is a place that God sent you to do ministry, not to create an island of isolation, but to create a, uh, a point in which to send off missionaries. So I guess that's my rant for today. Uh, I'll probably... Uh, Spend the rest of the afternoon taking my day off, uh, talking to the boys, playing with the boys, spending time with Sharon, and just having a good time. This has been Ramblings from a small town pastor. We'll see you guys tomorrow.